Hey everyone, it's Kendall from Recording Lounge, and today I'm doing a test of five different mic positions on a floor tom. Now, I know there are only so many ways to mic up a tom, but maybe these will give you some things to consider or some things to try on your own. The mic that I've got on top is a Shure Beta 181. There's no EQ or compression or any other processing. This tom is a 16-inch CNC Player Date 2 with a Remo Emperor head. So this position's not bad, it's out of the way, there's good rejection and big low end, but it can sound a little bit boxy and dark, which may not be a problem with a little bit of EQ, but overall, pretty good position. This position may be fine if you're already getting enough brightness from your overheads or room mics. This position sounds really nice, it's out of the way, it's balanced. Uh, the isolation is not as good as in the first one, um, but it's pretty good, it's okay. Um, overall, this is a really great option and something that a lot of people tend to do on toms, regardless of what mic it is. Although I think this position sounds really good, it's kind of impractical for a full, like, rock drummer. Um, it's kind of in the way and the isolation's not great, but it might work really well for, say, making drum samples or for a jazz session or something lighter like that. This position's kind of a mixture of two and three. Um, now the isolation to me seems a little bit better on this one than it does on number two, but it's also a little bit more in the way. Overall, a pretty darn good sound with minimal boxiness and decent isolation. So this one is really out of the way, but it doesn't have very good isolation. Now if you used a figure eight mic, it might actually have great isolation. But uh, this one's got more mid-range presence and more attack than some of the others. The low end is a little bit smaller. This one would probably be a great choice if you're using a bottom mic as well. <laughs> 